Your addictions are never very far behind you. Remember that. Your addictions are never very far behind you. These are two empowering things to remember to avoid becoming disempowered. That's the first one. Your addictions are never very far behind you. How is that empowering? Because when you understand that there's always going to be something to get addicted to, there's always going to be some uh, neuroses, there's always going to be some infatuation, some fixation, and your addictions are just like demons, like the Bible describes demons. Seven spirits, more wicked than oneself, traveling, coming back, saying, I will return to the house from which I came. That's how your, your, your addictions are. Uh, they're there for a while, and then they go on a vacation. They seem to just be gone. You have moments of peace. You have uh, moments of clarity, many of them. And you think everything has changed, and what do you do? You get cocky. Your addictions are never very far behind you. Remember that. Now, how is that? It's encouraging as much as it is scary, because that means that uh, you'll get to eat again. So when you're embarking on an OMAD fasting journey, if you're finding this channel for the first time and you're watching me and you're saying, who the hell is this guy? You have to remember that. You are prepared by understanding that you don't have to take a hiatus from your food for long. There will come a time when you will be right back eating again, but not for a while. So what do you do? You prepare yourself. You prepare yourself by saying food is always going to be there. And you have to remind yourself of this. This is therapy. It's therapy because you forget. You forget how things work. That's the first thing. What's the next thing? Just two, two short things today. The second thing is don't say stuff like, I'm not into fat burning yet. Uh, why do we say stuff like that? I'm not into fat burning yet. I'm still burning water. It hasn't been long enough. While technically true, if you've just started fasting, you may not be burning fat yet. But that's a dumb thing to say because self-control starts with the first refusal of a cookie, the first willingness to miss a meal, the first willingness to do anything that you need to do to start refusing food. When your willpower is higher than your desire to eat, you've started. It doesn't matter at what point in the metabolic process you are. You're already on the path. Now, with clarity and wisdom, you just have to stay there. 